Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to save the data in the access database using your C Sharp Windows form application. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can edit or update data in the access database using your C Sharp Windows form application. If you have noticed in the last video I was using uh, the first name, last name and pay uh, labels and text boxes and in this video I have added one more field which is EID and EID text box which is this employee ID text box. Why I have uh, added this EID text box here? Because this EID is our primary key in the database. If you go to the design view, you see it's a primary key and primary key is nothing but the unique identifier for your data. So in order to update your data, you need to have some unique uh, ID or unique uh, unique column on the basis of which you can add it data right so our uh, form is like that this and let's try to add it data by adding a button into our form and I will change the text of this button as add it data and I will change the name of this button also as btn underscore edit for example okay and let's change the font size of this button also so that we can see this so I will go to the font bold 16 done now I will just double click this button and in here I'm going to write the code for uh, editing the data. Now what I'm going to do is, if you remembered in the last video I've shown you how to save your data, right? I will go to this uh, button click event of save data and I will copy all the code inside this save button click event which I've shown you in the last video and I will paste it in the button click event of edit data. Why I'm doing this? Because uh, most of the code will remain same. Only the query will change. So I will just delete the query, whatever I have, and I will write the new query here. And everything will remain same. So just watch the last video if you haven't seen it, and you will be good to go. I will also change this message to data added. successful okay so we know that our data edit is successful now in order to update or edit data we use the query like this so I also want to show the query what what query builds whenever our query we write the query so what I'm going to do is I will uh, declare a string variable string query is equal to and whatever query I'm going to write I'm going to write here and I will just pass this string variable here this will command dot comma command text we will pass the this query which we will write here right so what I'm going to do is if you don't remember the code I will just explain it once again we are opening the connection with uh, the database using this OLEDB connection object and then we create a command called uh, command which is a OLEDB object of uh, the class OLEDB and then we create a connection we give the connection to this command command dot connection is equal to connection and now we will write the query and then we will pass the query to the command and then it will be executed by this code command dot execute non query and if everything goes well we will see this message and then it will be this connection will be closed so let's see what is the query in order to edit the database so to edit the database we write the query like this update and then the table name you have which is employee data in my case all right
employee data and then use the keyword set to set the values and what values I want to set I want to set first name last name and pay on the basis of employee ID so what I will do I will just copy the name of my first name column right here and write equal to and then I will write single quote not the double quote but single quote and double quotation and then plus plus and then in here I will pass whatever is the text box name of uh, this first name text box dot text okay similarly I will just give space here and I will copy the name or of the column of last name is equal to single quotes in between double quotes in between this plus plus and if you are wondering why I always do single quote double quote plus plus this is just a basic concept of string concatenations this is a one string this will be other string and this will be other string and plus we use uh, use this plus symbol to concatenate our string I will also show you the message uh, or the string when it builds in the message box so you will be able to see okay so this last name is equal to the column name of or the text box name of last name plus dot text and then the pay so I will write pay is equal to single quote in between double quote in between plus plus okay and in here we are going to copy our pay text box dot text now we have already assigned the value but where we want to assign the value we will write it like this so this will be semicolon here first and this will be where our EID is equal to whatever is our EID so just notice that EID employee ID is a auto number or it's a number so we will not give single quotes we will just give double quotes and plus plus sign here and I will explain you why I have done that and I will just use the text box name of uh, text box EID dot text and let's print this uh, first print this query in a message box message box dot show and I want to print this query so this query is like this update from your table name set whatever your column name is then in the single quote double quote and then the value in the text box same is for the last name in which is separated by comma so let's separate this last name and pay by comma okay so once again update table name set first name whatever value in the text box la comma last name whatever value in the text box pay whatever value in the text box where your employee id and we uh, want to add it this data where we must have the location where we want to add it our data right so on this on the basis of employee id i want to add it my data that's why i've written where employee id and here if you notice i haven't given single quote here i've just enclosed it uh, double quote and plus symbol um, but generally i have used single quote and why i will explain you when you will see this message query in here so let's try and run the program uh, i'll give and give the username and password and let's see if it's uh, okay or not and it's saying it's unhandled some oh. 
let's see why okay so i think my database is open right now so i need to close it because i already told you we can only make one connection at a time right i'll run the program once again and i will give username and password and login successful we reach to the second form and in here we will try to add it our data from the database so for example i want to add it the data in uh, on the employee id 14 for example and let's see what is the data in employee id 14 so i will open my database once again and employee data employee id 14 has the first name programming and last name knowledge and uh, the pay is 30 dollar per hour so i will change it as eric instead of programming and the last name is something like this and the pay is this one right so we want to change this programming knowledge by Eric Gomes and the uh, pay is 50 instead of 30. I will click this button added data and we will see this message because we were showing the query here. And now I will explain you why I have used single code, not single quotes in the case of employee ID. So our query builds like this update employee data which is our table name set the first name and first name is a text field that's why it needs to be in these single quotes right last name is also a text field that's why we need to give them them in the single quotes pay is a number but we can just give them uh, give it as a, as a text and access can know that uh, this is a, a number and it can deduce that and after this where clause we are comparing employee id with uh, whatever we write in uh, the text box this text box right so comparison we cannot compare a number with a string and if, if you use single quotes here then it will be a string and your access will think that you are assigning employee id as a string which is which employee id is not employee id is a number right that's why I haven't used single quotes here. Okay. To compare uh, employee ID with this number. So there will be no clashes in between. And when I click this OK, you will see added data added successful. OK. And you see here, when I go here, this data is changed. Okay. Once again, I want to. Um, added the data for example employee id 15 let me see if i i was closing the connection or not yeah i was closing the connection so there will be no problem in editing the second data so employee id 15 right now it's programming 111 something and knowledge 111 let's change uh, the name to something else and something else and pay is hundred dollar per hour and right now it's programming 111 knowledge 111 and 50 we want to change it to this value let's do this we can see our query i click ok data added successful and now when i refresh my database you see here the name is changed name and last name and the pay is changed so just remember this i will close it first so just remember this whenever you want to use this where clause don't use single quotes whenever you want to compare uh, some number if you were comparing some uh, name for example i want to uh, uh, I want to edit my data on the basis of first name then I can use single quote here because then name will be uh, a text and whatever uh, I want to pass it as a text also so this will compare the string to string 
but employee id is a number that's why i'm not using quote, double uh, single quotes here okay so in this way you can add it the data in the database using c sharp windows form application i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now